Yo, what's up? This is Penny Hardaway, and you're now tuned in to Who Promise Podcast. Adidas. Under Armour or Adidas? Adidas. All day? All day. All day. Okay. What's your favorite hoop shoe right now? This album? Uh, Kobe's. Kobe's. I thought you were going to give me that. I thought you were going to say Anthony Edwards, though. I like I like those, too. They hard, ain't they? Yeah. They so, hard. them are, I got two, but you know, I, um, you, ha- you got to go with Kobe's. I ain't going to lie. With, with, with Anthony Edwards, on Adidas, like I'm not an Adidas person, like mm-hmm. but I want a pair of his shoes though for show, for show. Like, yeah. What you think about the other people on the Adidas, like the other people on the Adidas shoe line, like James yeah. Harden and Dame? You like them? I like Dame's, but um, I mainly rock with the Trae Youngs. That's what we got as my team shoe, with oh, Team okay. Loaded. So yeah. Just these shoes. Now we're gonna do some Memphis food real quick. Crumpies or Wing Guru? Wing Guru. Chains or Wing Guru? Wing Guru. Uh, Debo or Wing Guru? <laughs> Wing Guru. <laughs> Crumpies or Debo's? Crumpies. Crumpies. Rayfords or Crumpies? Crumpies. Crumpies. You gotta go Crumpies. Like me personally, I feel like Crumpies got yeah. some of the best ones. I, I miss with Guru too though. Mm-hmm. I'm a Crumpies guy. Let's go barbecue. Corkies or, or Tops? Tops. A and R or tops? Tops. Mmm. This is the last one for food. We're gonna go pizza. Broadway pizza or Fox Ridge? Oh, Broadway. All day. Broadway over Domino's too? Oh yeah, for sure. Pizza Hut? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, hey, you know what I'm saying? You uh, you all right with me, bro, cause this <laughs> I'm eating Broadway too, my guy. So but this getting to the uh, this getting to basketball. Let's talk about basketball now. Okay. Now here on who crunk is my very first question I like to ask you is, who put the ball in your hands? Um, my dad started me off. Um, recently, um, I seen you interview Jeremy Hunt. Mm-hmm. That's who mainly started me off. But who made basketball come to mind was Penny Hardaway and my dad. Man, there's some great influences to have, like early on to be yes, sir. tapped in. Like, man, it's, it's great and to see that you really using the network. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's great, to, great to see. Yes, sir. Uh, you saw you say your dad put the ball in. Did he play? Yes, sir. He went overseas. He went to Missouri State. Mm. So I look, kind of take in everything they say. And I try to listen to everything they say. He might make me frustrated a couple of times. He make you frustrated. Yeah, he kind of made me frustrated a couple what, of times. But what he do? What he do to make you frustrated? Talk. Let's talk about. Hey. He let me hoop, of course, but like some things, you know, I'm kind of all. I'm pretty sure all kids can relate to this. Like sometimes they feel like they pops, or they mind dudes like they talk to them a little too much, but. I know he ain't gonna never tell me nothing wrong, so I for sure listen. Yeah, I mean, hey, he ain't already did it. 
Yeah. So you'll be a fool not to listen to somebody who and I already did what you want to do. So yes, you know, this this good to good to hear. How often do you work out? You say? Mm, I say five days out of the week. Five days. Cause mainly I have tournaments mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday. So if I don't got a tournament, I'll work out seven days a week. But uh, okay, you going hard. Yeah. Uh. Who's some of your favorite? I know you said Jeremy Hunt, like, got mm -hmm. it. Introduced you to, like, training and all that. What, what you, what's, your, what's your best memory with Coach Hunt? Because he a funny guy, so I know you got I know I know you didn't play for him. He ain't said something. It's a game. It's something mm -hmm. that he did that he ain't got on y'all about something. Uh, we was working out, and, um, uh, I think it was him and Joshua Wilkerson. They were going back and forth. I can't remember the day, but he had fell. We all, everybody just jumped all up on him. Cause Josh, he be talking so much cash. Josh. Yeah. <laughs> we all just jumped up on him and Hunt was helping us and stuff like that. That day was so funny. It was crazy. I was gonna ask you, uh, who your favorite high school player? Uh, Darius Aker. Where are you from? Detroit. Mm. What team you play for? The family. He went with the IMG five school this year. Oh, okay. He graduated already? Uh, no, I think he's 20, 25. Oh, okay. You know, in your class, it's a lot of competition. Class 20, 30, they saying. Who's some of your other favorite guys in the class of 20, 30? From Memphis? Just or just, just or what? I, 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 know, I know your game bigger than Memphis, so like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Gotta go with my boy King, King Harris. King Harris, okay. Um, where, he, where he located? California. Okay. Um, Maverick Owens. Maverick Owens, okay. He from Oklahoma. Okay. Um, RJ, you gotta go RJ, this is my boy. RJ who? RJ, he played 901. Oh, Jizzle, Jizzle, yeah. something like that, okay. Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. Um, um, Amari. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but he's from New York. Okay. He recently played with me and my team, local team. Okay. Um, this is really it. That's a solid, that's a solid, that's a solid. I mean, you, you, can't, you ain't got like everybody. It's still a competition at yeah. the end of the day, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good fight to like. Uh, what about your favorite Memphis high school player? What about um, the guy in Memphis that you watching? Look who, Curtis. Who in Memphis inspires you like man? I like his guy. Um, definitely Lil Curtis. Curtis, man. Lil Curtis is hooping, bro. I yeah. seen him hoop with my own ass for the first time mm -hmm. at the uh Duncanville Thanksgiving Classic. Yes, sir. With uh Mount Mount, Mount Verde and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now I'm like you, bro, like when, this is my first time seeing him, so I want him I wanted to see him get buckitos. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see him get buckets. But like you mentioned earlier, he playing with Cooper Flag and everybody else, so he got to mm -hmm. distribute the ball out to everybody. Yes, so I ain't really just get a chance to see him get get too crazy, but you're right, he is a solid. He's a solid PG for sure. Uh, and he a four star recruit, so I mean, yes, yeah, it, it's hard being a four star. So, mm -hmm. uh, what I was gonna ask you, what's your favorite college? Like, what's your dream college? Mm. I got Memphis at yeah. number one. Come on, man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Memphis. Uh, and I say North Carolina. North Carolina? like North Carolina? That's mm -hmm. great. Would you go to HBCU? If I have to, I would. Do you have to, but yeah. yeah. It ain't the number one option. Why, why, why you say that? I mean, it's not really my goal. I feel. What, tell us what's your goal then. All right, so. Um, what's your overall basketball goal? Oh, to make it to the league. Okay. Hi, yo. Thank you, neighborhood.
know you for like ever, forever. Mm -hmm. Joe Jackson was like that guy for my class, for my group. Yes, sir. He's the, the person that everybody would look up and check his highlights out and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Joe Jackson, man. Mixtape.com, baby. You can you can do that too. Yes, sir. Uh, what else I want to ask? I want to ask you something else. What's your favorite go-to move? What's your move where you know like ah he broke my this bucket like he can't hold me on this move. Cross jab, mm. the jaw joint, yeah, throw that joint, yeah. <laughs> um, ha, ha, what's your what's your best game you had so far? Um, where you like? Mm. My, I might actually be straight. Like, I might actually be nice. Uh, Like, basically, like, my breakout game. What I would was say that? when I played against Stad team, mm. made hoops. Mm. I think that game I had, like, 24, 22. We didn't win, but I know I did my job. I was playing with Alabama Fusion at the time. That's when everybody was, you know, counting me out. Stuff like that, so I just stay on. I always been humble, but yeah, yeah just let them know. My yeah, I, I had a little, little bit, look, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause at the time I wasn't really like a scorer. Like when I was younger, like I was always the rebounding type guy, and I was playing with this kid named Casey Hughes. Mm -hmm. So like, and Chase Key, who I'm teaming up with during middle school, like they was always the scoring guys, and I was just the rebounding assist guy. So that's why I'm a pass first guard now, cause like it already been clicked in my mind to do those things. What, what clicked in your head to start getting buckets though? Cause I just watched your couple last highlights, and you were getting buckets. Um, I don't think you seen one bad shot out there. I think because Amari and Samuel Liff, mm -hmm. my um dad team, so like. It had made me step up more, and I know I had to, you know, try to score. So do you feel like playing with other, uh, like a lot of good team, like a lot of good guys at one time, kind of like make it hard for you to just give it all you get because you feel like, man, I got other guys that can do what I can do as well. Mm -hmm. But no, nah, I wouldn't say that. So, but but do you feel like you was taking the back seat? Nah, because yep. I was still finding ways to affect the game, like with defensive rebounds and assists, of course. Okay. I ain't really care about scoring like that, especially but, when I know I got a good group of But you getting kids. bookies, though. The highlights show otherwise, though. You telling me you don't care about bookies. I but mean. The highlights show you get bookies, though. It, like, it just happened. Like, I don't really care about scoring, but, like, you just in the game, mom is natural. Uh -huh. You just doing how I feel. I got it. It's all good. Uh, what I was gonna ask you? You said that uh, Penny Hardaway is a part of like your family and stuff like that. And, you know, you like him. You like his game and stuff like that. And I was gonna ask you, what's the, what's the biggest advice that Penny Hardaway gave? Go hard at everything you do. That's the best advice. Just this it was it was a lot. It was a lot more too, but like that was the best one. Yeah. That's the one I stick by all the time. Uh any big goals for going into like you going to the seven. Seventh grade, any big goal? I heard you was a Bob kid at one point. Yeah. We we made it to the state, man. We lost by three. So like, you know my boy Deuce. Yeah, Deuce Pinter. Yes, sir. Uh, man, I was a Bob kid, bro, so, man, I... I it seemed like the whole city with the Bellevue. Man, not the whole city, but, like, if 
big, you just one of them schools, like, you want to be a winner, uh -huh. that's where you go. Like, it's an inner city kid yeah. who maybe can't get to, like, a court, get out there to, like, a court of the suburbs and uh -huh. stuff like that. Like, you gonna go to, you gonna go to big because that's where all the top competition is. And it seemed like that's just where the people cared about sports in for real, real life. When I was there, Mr. Malone was the principal. I don't know if you know Mr. Malone or not. Nah. But he's a winner, though. He yeah. want to win. He, he tell us all the time. When I go to them principal meetings, I don't want to be known as the, the principal who school losing and all the sports and the laugh and stuff. Mm -hmm. So he took sports to, you know, he took he took it serious. Yeah. Uh, any pre-game rituals, anything you do before the games? Um, put on my beats, get locked in first. Run up and down a couple times, get my body and my blood pumping and flowing. Then I stretch. Then it's game time. Who your favorite teammate out of all the teammates you ain't had? King. King Harris. Who? King Harris. King Harris. Uh, who else can I ask you? Let's see. Oh, we already did shoes, right? Mm hmm. You got any questions for me? Anything you want to ask me? No, sir. Nah, make up. You can make up something. You, know. you can. You can ask me anything, bro. Um. Yeah, bounce. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> I was sorry. I want them sorry. I want them sorry. Yeah. I can hoop, but I'm really sorry, bro. Like I ain't had no <laughs> hops for you, bro. I was just a. I was a guy that played on the basketball team, but don't nobody know me for hooping, bro. That's why mm -hmm. I got a podcast. Yes, so I'm, I'm not really known for hooping, but I played college basketball. I coached in college before. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I know about the game. I'm good enough. I was good enough to play, but I'm not like no yeah. household name or nothing like that. Uh, I was going to ask you, uh, what what's your, what's your eating habits look like? Are you, are you conscious of what you eat, or are you just like a... Um, it was at one point to where I ate like straight salad for like three months straight. I ain't eat nothing else, no snacks, no chips, no juice. It was just gathering water every day and straight salad. But I just started like yesterday. I'm finna just mainly maintain with eating eggs, chicken and rice, and this really like some pro athlete stuff. I know it's gonna be a big season this year. Me and Elma Park and Javante home, so it's a possibility that we win state. I know I'm gonna have to put on some size. I'm gonna have to be an important guard to the team. Uh, I know you said you worked out with uh, Hunt, but how do you feel about Javante? Oh, uh, Javante, that's my guy. I include him as my uncle as well. You know, he's my coach now, so. It's really like, wow, and it's amazing. Cause at first I seen him like as an uncle and I still do see him as an uncle, but like, um, and my dad used to work together. They used to be on the staff with Penny. And it's amazing now, cause he can tell me some things and teach me some things they used to teach to the older guys. Trying? Hmm. What do you think about his training? Because I've been to one of his training sessions. Oh, yeah, he my trainer. He know my trainer as well. He, his training session is elite. Like, what I like about Javante's training session is, like, how hard the kids going the whole mm -hmm. time. Like, 100 miles. Like, they going yeah. game speed the whole time. Ain't like, no, I'm going through the motion. And mm -hmm. then if he see you going through the motion, he, he going to correct you. Yeah, he, nah, he, he going to do more correct. He going to. Hey, he gonna, he gonna raise his voice up at you a little bit, let you know, mm -hmm. hey, you ain't going game speed, this ain't gonna translate with you. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just, I call like the last 10, 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, him training, uh, mine he got, uh, Malachi, and uh, who else would probably be in the gym with Malachi early in the morning? It, it was, probably Braylon. It might have been. It was, he, is he a shooter? Uh, this guy was a shooter. He, he went probably, like, probably was. He went like sure. six for eight from on the drills, on the shooting drills. So he was a young guy too. But uh, I, I like Javante Holmes training. What you think about Memphis basketball, like overall? Um, uh, I like it. It's competitive. Like what I 
From what I've seen, like, Memphis is known for defense. A lot of defense. A lot of greed. Yeah, for sure. A lot sure. of hustle. Mm -hmm. Scrappy, they play scrappy. Yeah. Well, we play scrappy. They gonna hack, too. Oh, they, they be fouling for sure. Heck, they ain't calling foul, they ain't giving you no foul. Call. Where, where do you go hoop at? Like when, like when I was young, we used to go to Mamma Rod and play at the park where everybody would be in. Or, uh, yeah, we used to go to Mamma Rod. What, what's, what's the place that the teenagers go and hoop at? Like where everybody, where you can find some good company? Uh, see, like, I don't really like a hoop. What a lot of people like. You ain't looking for the cunt. You just straight yeah, skills just, and drills. Yeah, keep working out, keep my body right. You just, want to know something crazy? We never did this growing up. Like my group, like some some guys had trainers. I didn't have a trainer. Mm -hmm. But how we got good, we just went to the park. Yeah, that's what my dad said. He used to do that a lot of times. Just go to the park and hoop. Like hoop against grown ups. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know they're going to beat you up fast. Oh, yeah, and, right. You know, you're gonna get some wounds out there. Mm -hmm. But it make you a man though. Uh do you what's your reason for not wanting to like who we like the other, with the other guy? I mean, I don't mind but like You want it to be some cunt. Yeah. Like make me have to think. So I mean, bro, you might have to find you might have to find out where the high school is hooping me. If you feel like the middle school is not doing it for you, you might have to hoop with the high school. Like, if Wente, like, this who I train with, Wente, and then Alfonso Pratt, Zo. I know, I know Zo. Yeah. Um, Wente, he be having, like, us doing gang situations, just like, and we a mixture of high school and middle school. So that's where I go when I want runs, and yeah. You probably ran into my, my, my brother. What's your brother's name? Joshua Wood. Joshua Wood. I heard of that name for sure. Mm -hmm. He be, he be going up there to, uh, to Vontae and he mm -hmm. go to Zoe. Yeah. Uh, he went to the ski effect. But, uh, uh huh. Yeah, so any, any, any questions you got for me or anything else you want to tell mm -hmm. the people in Memphis or about you or anything like that? Uh, nah. You good. Yes, sir. Okay, well, now you heard it here first on Who Crunkers Podcast. Hey, my guy, Joe Crawford. Ninja World. I'm in Tennessee, and I think I'm like 22 worldwide. Do you get caught up in the rankings? Nah, I really never paid attention to them. I appreciate them a lot because they give me a lot of recognition, but it ain't really never been my go to to like show people that I don't rank and stuff like that. Well, like, like he said here on Hoop Crunkers, I appreciate him being on Hoop Crunkers with us today. We're going to bring him back when he get in ninth grade, when he get in high school. All right. He'll have more of a journey, more of a story to give us. But we appreciate him being a part of Who Crunch. He know he's one of the players he's locked in.